I am Eric Armitage, and I am a painter. I used to work at the, the Rembrandt House for some 22 years, but now I'm giving workshops on how he made his paint, his painting, and also giving tours of where he lived his city. And this is where the dam was, was built across the Amstel River, and that's where the city gets its name, Amstel Dam. This was a sort of canal or moat that ran around the city, and there was a city wall, but also a wall in the city from there. The main locks that uh, shut up the Amstel River. So here we have the Stallmeisters, and this is a group of men that does quality control on fabrics, and Rembrandt has painted this group portrait for the Stallmeisters, and it would hang in this building here, and that's where they did their work. And just so we know that they're the guild for the drapery people, at the top of the building, you can see that the stones are carved with draped fabric. And here we're on the Joden Breistadt with the famous Rembrandt house. So this is where Rembrandt lived and worked for almost 20 years. It's also where I worked for 22 years. So the second floor with the shutters there, that's where his studio is. And he bought this house because this house faces north. And this northern light is going to give you the best light for painting. It's not coming directly into the room. It's going to be nice diffused light throughout the whole day. And he's got four windows, so it's a very large uh, studio to paint in. And the first floor was his business. That's where he actually has a gallery and where he's going to be showing off his art. And the third floor, that's actually where the students are painting. is you don't scratch directly into the copper plate. What you're going to do instead is you're going to cover it with this waxy surface. And in that time, it's a combination of beeswax, pine tree resin, and asphalt powder. Towards a cliff You are far too young Spent it all This is built as a meeting hall. It's also built as a, as a lodging, so an inn for people to, to stay because there's no hotels at that time. And then as time goes on, um, you can see the tower is still left, but they just build on top of that to create more rooms for people to see. And this becomes the first hotel in the city. It's just so everybody knows that this is where the Night Watch hung, they actually have the two main figures of the Night Watch here at the top on both sides of the clock. And so Remit has painted this as a commissioned work for this group of militia. So they're all portrayed here in this painting. And then he paints it at his house over here. Yodin Braystrad and then it gets hung here for the very first time. So Amsterdam is a very biking city, so everybody has a bike. It's ridiculous to try and get around the city in a car. We have lots of electric bikes, women and children in their, on their bikes, one on the front, one on the back. But it's, it's definitely a, a, a great way to get around. The gable fronts, 
And so you have what's called the trap gable or the step gable where you step up the little steps like that. That's about 1500. And then the next style is what they call a bell gable. And that's where at the top it kind of swoops out looking like a bell. And then the next change in the style is when they go to what's called the neck gable. And that's the one with the more straight up and down sides and more of the um, stone carving around it. Beautiful color. Um, but you also have to be careful with it if you grind this one too much, it turns white. When you're adding the oil and moistening up uh, the particles, you want to do it so it's not fluid at all and not shiny. It's just kind of matte and everything sticks together. And then when you start rubbing it around with the glass color, then it sort of just magically turns into paint. So, if you're interested in one of my tours or one of my workshops, you can contact me at my website, rembrandtpaintmaker.com.